Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at the basics of percentages. So we're going to learn what percentages mean. We'll look at writing percents as decimals and writing decimals as percents. So the word percent by definition means per 100 or out of 100. So every time we want to make a percentage, we can think about it as a ratio with a denominator out of 100. When we do that, and we show the number that would be in the numerator, we use a percent sign. When we see this figure, we can see that it is divided into 100 equal parts. And so when we look at the part that is shaded, we can see that 16 blocks are shaded. So this is 16 out of 100. Because we're out of 100, we can change this to 16%. And as a decimal, we can look at this as 16 hundredths. And we know on the decimal side, the hundredths place is the second position. So as a decimal, it's 16 hundredths. And as a percentage, it's 16%. So this section is all about going between fractions, decimals, and percentages. Percentages can be written in decimal form by dividing by 100 and then dropping the percent sign. This is the same as moving the decimal two places to the left. So if we look at 75%, as a fraction that means 75 out of 100, and when we take 75 divided by 100, we get the decimal 0.75. So we're going to do this with our first example. We're going to take 20% as a decimal. This is 20 over 100. And when we take 20 divided by 100, we get a decimal of 0 0.2. Conversely, if you're starting with a decimal, then what you can do instead of dividing by 100 is you can multiply by 100. And you can multiply by 100 the fast way by moving the decimal two places to the right. So if we take 0 0.4 and we want to write this as a percentage, we can multiply this by 100, and we can even just let our eye move two decimal places to the right. That's fast multiplication, and fill in that extra zero. So 0 0.4 is 40%. It's also important to note that any time we have a 0 point something, that's going to be less than 100%. So 0 0.4, 0 0.625, 0.05. These are all percentages that are less than 100. But we can also deal with percentages that are more than 100. For example, if we have 2.5, we can use the same strategy, the same method. We can multiply this by 100 to figure out the percentage, or we can just quickly move the decimal two places to the right and that will give us a percentages of 250%. And even though in math class or your other classes, you're not used to seeing percentages that are greater than 100%, when we talk about things in life that um, show growth, you can have growth that is higher than 100%. For example, financial growth. A quick example of that would be, let's say you bought a car for $1,000, but you sold the car for $2,500, then you would be seeing a large amount of growth. You would be seeing a 250% increase in the price of that car. So in summary, if you want to first change a percent to a decimal, what you can do is divide the percent by 100 and fast division by 100 is moving the decimal two places to the left because you're getting the number smaller. So for example, if you take 34%, you can divide this by 100, and if you want to do this without a calculator, you can take 34 and move it two decimal places to the left. So as a decimal, 34% becomes 0 0.34. If you want to change from a decimal to a percentage, now you're going to go and multiply by 100. 
And if you want to do this quickly without a calculator, you're going to move two decimal places to the right because you're getting bigger. So 0 0.67 multiplied by 100, we can move our decimal two places to the right, giving us a percentage of 67%. Let's do a few questions together. You can pause the video and try them on your own and then check with my solutions. Number one, we're writing 45% as a decimal. So we're going from percent to decimal. So that means we're going to be dividing. So that's like taking that 45% and putting it over 100. So we're going to be dividing by 100. And you can either use your calculator or you can take 45 and you can move your decimal two places to the left. So as a decimal, 45% is 0 0.45. For number two, we're changing a decimal to a percentage. This time, we're going to be multiplying by 100. So we can take 0 0.234 and multiply this by 100. And if we want to do decimal moving the fast way, we can let our eye move two places to the right. So this will be 23.4%. So percentages aren't bound to be whole numbers. You can have a decimal percentage, as in this example, 23.4%. For number three, we have 120% as a decimal. So this is more than 100%. So as a fraction form, we would put 120 over 100. So we can see here that we're going to have a decimal that is greater than 1. 120 divided by 100 is 1.2. So as a decimal, it's 1.2. And remember, you can take your decimal and move it two places to the left to get that decimal 1.2. And lastly, number four, we're writing three as a percent. So three is a whole number. So in this case, we're going to be taking the three. There's no decimal present, but it's always right here. We're gonna be multiplying that by 100. So three is equal to 300%. And if we move that decimal, if we take three and we move it two places to the right and add in our zeros, we can see that three is 300%. If you'd like to do a few more exercise questions with me, you can follow with this section. I'm gonna do questions one, two, and three, which is writing the decimals as percentages. So when we are looking to write decimals as percent, we are going to be multiplying by 100, or we are going to be moving our decimal two places to the right. So 0 0.56 times 100 becomes 56%. 0 0.6 times 100 becomes 60%. And 1.23 times 100 becomes 123%. In Alberta, we pay GST. GST is 5%. So as a decimal, GST is 0 0.05. We multiply that by 100 we can see that that is the 5% sales tax. The other section, starting with question 19 here, is writing the following percents as decimals. So when we are changing from percent to decimal, we're going to be moving the other direction. We're going to be dividing by 100, or with our decimal, we can move two places to the left. So 24%, we drop the percentage sign, and we can divide by 100, or move two decimal places to the left. 
and that will be 0 0.24. Same with 33%. We either divide by 100 or move our decimal two places to the left, 0 0.33. 120% as we've seen before is greater than 100%, so we are going to have a whole number and a decimal. We're going to divide by 100. This will be equal to 1.2. But you can give the rest of the exercise questions a try, and good luck with them.